Welcome to our lecture online. Next, we'll take a look at mutual and self-inductance. And what we're trying to do here is find the units for the induced voltage. When we have a coil, which is induced by another coil, there's a mutual inductance M and a change in the current in the other coil, di dt, one being the other coil, two being the coil that we're concerned with. The mutual inductance can be defined as the number of turns in the coil here in coil two, the flux going through coil two, we're talking about the magnetic flux, and the current from coil one. You will also remember that the magnetic flux is e equal to the product of the magnetic field and the cross-sectional area. And we know that the units for magnetic field is Tesla's, cross-sectional area is meter squared. So we end up with Newton's meter per amp for the units, the standard units for flux, magnetic flux. Also notice that self-inductance has a similar formula. We have the number of turns in the coil, the flux going through the coil, and the current going through the coil. So you can see that the, the units should be the same for mutual inductance as it is for self-inductance. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the units for mutual inductance and the, mu and the units for a current and time, and we should get voltage. So let's find out if we do. The number, of course, so if we're going to talk about units, Let's plug in the equation that makes it easier. So minus n times the flux divided by the current. Of course, that's 2 and 1. doesn't really matter, the subscripts. Then we have di dt. And if we now want to write the units in there, there's no units for n because that's simply a number of turns in the coil. That's, there's no units involved with that. We do have the flux there. We found units for flux, which is newtons meters per amp and the units for current, which is amps. Then we have the units for current down here. That would then negate the amps right here. And then we have the units for time, which is seconds. And somehow that should all converge to voltage. Let's see if it does. Well, we can simplify this. And now if we write amp in terms of col uh, coulombs per second, because that's current, current is uh, charge per second, per time. So we can say that this is equal to Newtons, meters divided by, amps is going to be converted to coulombs per second, which means I need seconds in the numerator. And then I have a seconds in the denominator here. Now you can tell that the seconds cancel out. Now we have Newtons per coulomb times meters. Well, Newtons per coulomb is the unit of the electric field, and meters is the unit of distance. And we know that there's a relationship between voltage and electric field, that the voltage is equal to the electric field times the distance traveled. So you see that the units for electric field is newtons per coulomb, the units for distance is meters, therefore newton meters per coulomb are the units for voltage. And so that means that we're talking about the units for voltage. And I'll just go ahead and put it like that. Actually, since the units for voltage is the same as the symbol for volts, we can simply get rid of the quotation marks because that's actually the units for voltage, volts. A volt is equal to a newton meter per coulomb. So we're good. That means that this is indeed the units of the induced voltage. And that's, that's what we're trying to show.